difference in terms of a response from the lads to play a team like Hull City and to get a performance, not just the result, is fantastic. Yeah, it was great. It was great. It was great for the lads. Um, after uh, the previous result, it was it was good for the lads' confidence, you know, to get a win. Um, but as uh, as I said before, and you know, from our point of view, it's about the performance rather than you know rather than the win. And they certainly gave us the performance that that, that we wanted um, for ninety minutes. I enjoyed watching it, and then I we keep on saying to the lads, you know, go and excite me, and, that, and that's what they did all through the ninety minutes. It was a, it was a great game to watch. And one of the things you said, which resonated last week, was the most consistent thing about youth football is inconsistency. Yeah, is this a yeah. lesson? Of that? Yeah, it is the highs and lows of football. Yeah, the frustration. That's why I've got no hair <laughs> on the top. Um, yeah, it's um, sometimes it's frustrating, but at the end of the day, the young lads. The young lads, and, and again, I've said beforehand, you know, about the inconsistencies of youth football. It's for us to educate them to get that consistency so they can produce those performances, you know, like they, like they did on Saturday. And um, we had a game plan. We went out, we instructed them what we wanted them to do. Um, and in all honesty, they got on with it really well, stuck to the game plan, and in the end, as I said, they got what they wanted, and that was, that was the win. We've said this before as well, but a lot of football comes from the head, the confidence. It can't do any harm. No, no, it was great for the lads. I was really chuffed for the lads, because they, they were down. I mean, it's with any football, especially, you know, the young footballers, it really hurts them. You know, a big defeat hurts them. Um, and it's, again... Not just so much the win, but the way they went about it, as I said, you know, it's all about the the, the individual. And all through the week we've worked on certain things that, that we saw in the game previous. And we gave them certain instructions, kept it basic, kept it simple, you know, this is where you need to improve on a personal basis. And for them to go out and actually see a difference in their own performances, that in turn raises their confidence no end because you have to give them the belief that they can go and do it. they have to believe in themselves and that's what that, that that's what happened against Hull they went out just simple instructions they followed the instructions and again just seeing the improvement gives them the boost in confidence again and at the end of the day if all the players perform the team performs and inevitably you'll come out with a win and that's what happened but I think the lads were getting through to them now, the mindset of it's their own individual performance. But on, on, on Saturday, we got 11 good individual performances. When you've been